Okay, welcome back. So Palmetto State Armory, fresh on the announcement of their PX APK announcement from yesterday, which is gonna be a Romanian parts kit RPK, which will eventually become a production version that'll be available as a full rifle from what I'm hearing. Doubles down with the news today that their Spiker AK variant clone will be launching within the next 60 days. So AK fans have long wanted an affordable Spiker AK and PSA is nothing but good about listening to their customers and giving them exactly what they want at an affordable price point. Palmetto State Armory had originally teased the Spiker AK at 2020 SHOT Show if you recall, but since then have kept very mum about further production details until very recently, including today with the announcement. The Spiker AK comes from the heritage of the Chinese Type 56, or AK-56, so named for being pressed into service in 1956. It comes from the Type 3 Soviet AK-47 and earned the moniker Spiker from the SKS-style bayonet pig sticker affixed to the barrel. Generally, these came with blonde wood furniture, although this is not always the case. Hooded front sight blocks are also a unique feature of the Type 56 and very recognizable. As, as you know, most AKs are manufactured with partially open front sights. Later variants included the 56-1, which came with an underfolder, and then the 56-2, which came with a side folder. Nearest I can tell, the production of most military versions were at the creatively named State Factory 66, whereas most export models and versions later came from Norinco and Polytech. Interestingly enough, Chinese Spiker SKSs that are military surplus are currently available on PSA's website, complete with the aforementioned pig stickers. They are products of Jianxi Arsenal. I'll include photos and a link in the description below if anyone is interested. So details that show PSA went the extra distance are original Trunyan rivet placements, including diagonal rivets, which are unique to the Chinese version, um, an OG vented gas tube, Chinese characters on the receiver, pistol grip that is checkered, a smooth top cover, in-house PSA cold hammer forged barrel, although that's not original, but it's just neat to see PSA manufacturing their own in-house cold hammer forged barrels and putting them into AKs now, American AKs. And they have a original correct receiver thickness at 1.5 millimeters. Well, that's all the details I have for now. What's your take on the Spiker AK? Are you an AK purist that appreciates the meticulous attention to historical detail that PSA is displaying in their engineering? Or would you rather just have them jump to an AK-107 or an AK-19? I, I've kind of heard both sides in, in reading online. I'm just kind of curious what your take is. So drop it in the comments below, as well as further details about the Type 56 that you have, that you think viewers would be interested in that I have not included in this video. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon and help out there if you get the chance. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Hope you enjoyed this video. LW Road, out.